as drawing a blank. Swish and flick. I just missed this whole side when I was cleaning my arm. That's lovely. As I don't know why. <laughs> Hello my beautiful babes, what is up? It's Brandy. welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Now in today's video, I'll be trying the new Jeffree Star X Shane Dawson single eyeshadow in the shade Put It Back. Now I do already own the mini controversy palette. However, I will be creating a look with both of these products. So without any further ado, let's just get started into today's video. Alright, so if you ordered the single eyeshadow like I did, it comes in a box just like this. Super, super cute. I have not yet opened this, so I'm very excited to see what she looks like. I always have problem opening these things. All right. So this is what the shade Put It Back looks like. It is a beautiful emerald green. Let me just swatch this for you. Put it on the back of my hand. <gasps> this shade is a million times better in person. Do you not see that pigmentation? It is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to put this on the eyes. For those who have not yet seen the mini controversy, this is what she looks like. Here are all the swatches including the shade Put It Back. Going from top to bottom, we have Flat Earth, Cry On My Couch, My Boyfriend's Purse, Controversy, Diet Root Beer, Put It Back, My Apology, Exposed, Cancelled, and The Simulation. So now I'm gonna clean up my arm and then we will get into the eye look. <laughs> I already primed my eyes, so to set them, I'm going to be dipping into the shade Cry On My Couch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to be dipping into the shade Cry On My Couch, applying that on an M335. And where did my mirror go? Here it is. <laughs> Then I'm going to dip into Controversy. Applying that on an M441, I'm going to put this in my crease. Next, I'm going to dip into Exposed. Applying that on an M506, I'm going to use this to blend out the edges. Next, I'm going to be dipping into the shade Cancelled. Applying that on another M506, I'm going to be applying this on the outer half of my crease. I was going to keep it towards the outer half of my crease, however, I'm going to just take it a little bit into the lower half of my crease, just to give the eye look some more dimension, but keeping it darker towards the outer half. Going back in with the shade Cancelled, I'm going to put a little bit on the outer half of my lid. For those who have never used this palette before, just letting you know that there is some kickback in the pan. Is it a big deal to me? No, but for others it is. But I'm just letting you guys know that there is some kickback. Next, I'm going to be doing a half cut crease. So I'm just going to be grabbing my Maybelline Master Conceal, putting that on an M 
four, two, one. So now I'm going to be grabbing the shade, put it back, applying that on an M213. And I'm going to place this where we just put the concealer. Then I'm going to be taking the simulation, applying that on an M508, and putting that on the outer half of my crease. Then I'm going to go into the shade Cancelled. Applying that on an M410, I'm going to run this closely to my lash line. So I'm going to be taking Controversy on an M506 and keeping that towards the outer half of my lash line. Then I'm going to be dipping into the shade Flat Earth. Applying that on an M506, I'm going to keep that towards the inner half of my lower lash line. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like flat earth didn't really do much. I mean, I do see a little bit of a difference. It definitely helped blend out the inner corner, but as for pigmentation, it didn't really do much for me. Then I'm going to take my boyfriend's purse, applying that on an M149. I'm going to place this in the inner corner of my eyes. Also taking that shade to highlight the brow bone. For mascara, I'm going to be using my Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara with Lengthening Fibers. poopers <laughs> just waking up from your nap all right give me one second let me just finish my lashes and i'll let you out i promise all right next is highlight using my jcat you glow girl baked highlighter in the shade crystal sand For lips, I'm going to be grabbing my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. Mm -hmm. 
to finish off the lips i'm going to be trying the gloss i have not opened this yet either let's see i think i opened up the wrong way no i didn't did i ow <laughs> here we go okay this is so cool in person oh the packaging is so cool i don't know why i just felt like this is going to be a lot heavier than what i expected it's light i don't know and just in my head just the way i've seen it online i just felt like it was going to be heavy if that makes sense but anyway <laughs> it's just regular clear gloss i've never tried any lip products from Jeffree Star, so I'm excited to see this. Ooh. I can't tell if this has a smell or maybe it was this. It's a it's a weird smell. It's not overpowering, but Oh, wait a minute. I think they said it was a diet root beer s s smell to it. I'm glad I stuttered. It is! I knew it wasn't bugging. I'm like, this has a smell. I completely forgot that it smells like diet root beer. I just love the way it looks and the way it feels. Wow. I really like this gloss. Alright, you guys. So this is the final look. I am honestly so happy with how this came out. It's definitely giving me peacock vibes. <laughs> um... As I'm looking into my mirror and the viewfinder, I am noticing that in person, the shade put it back. It's interesting. Not in a bad way. Um, the shade put it back on my lid appears exactly how it is in the pan. However, when I'm looking at the viewfinder, I don't know if you guys can tell. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't know. But it's coming off more as a turquoise, which is very interesting. So I don't know why that is. I don't know if anyone else had that issue. It's not a big deal to me. but um, Or maybe it's just with the colors that I chose and the look itself and how everything's going together. I don't know. But regardless, I love this look. I love this shade. I can't wait to play with it more. And now that I have this, it's... Definitely makes me want to dip into my mini controversy palette a lot more than I have in the past. So I'm very happy with it. Also, the gloss, I'm obsessed with it. It is totally worth the $18. I am telling you that right now. When I first started getting into makeup and I was like, $18 for a lipstick, a lip gloss, that's pretty pricey, but the packaging is so cute. If you don't care about packaging, the product itself... The quality of it, absolutely amazing. It's going to be definitely my go-to gloss. And I will definitely use this again and again in the future. But yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel as well as hitting the notification bell. As always, every product used in today's video will be linked down below in the description box. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>